Garibu Bila Dr. Muhammad Garib Bilali Tuna shukrani za peke kwa kuwepo kweko katikati yetu We want to thank you for being a ministers Sitafuata utaratibu wote wa itifaki kwa sababu ya muda I may not follow the protocol because of the of time Mimi sina mengi kwa sababu ninapenda sana kwanza nisikie sauti yako na watu hawa wote wa extravaganza wasikie sauti yako I don't have much to say because I'm anxious to hear your voice and these people are also waiting anxiously to hear you speak Na wangu pastor Bishop Mwakalonge ame fanya kazi kubwa pale ametujulisha mambo mengi ambayo pengine ningependelea kuyasema lakini ameyasema And Bishop Mwakalonge has exhausted all that I want I would have said Kwa kifupi sana tu mheshimiwa makamu wa rais Very briefly honorable vice president Ni sema kwa kifupi ya kwamba utakaposimama hapa baada ya kukaribishwa na kiongozi wa kanisa la Kiadventista duniani May I say very briefly that when you rise after being uh, welcomed by our world leader utakuwa unatazama umati mkubwa sana wa watu ambao wametoka katika inchi 11 za kanda hii ya Afrika ya Kati na Mashariki You will be facing the huge or uh, the multitude of people who have come from 11 countries of East Central Africa region. Na Kiswahili hiki ambacho unasikia ninakisema ni mchanganyiko wa Kiswahili vingi ambavyo vinazungumuzwa katika kanda hii. And the kind of Swahili you hear me use is a mixture of uh, Swahilis that are used in various countries here. Kinazungumuzwa Kongo yote. It is also spoken in Congo. Na ni tofauti na cha Tanzania. It is a little bit different from this one of Tanzania. Kinazungumuzwa na Burundi. It is also spoken in Burundi. Hata hata Uganda wanajaribu. And the Uganda is also trying. Kenya Kiswahili kimefika secondary school. Uh, at least in Kenya it has reached the level of secondary school. Kwa hivyo mheshimiwa rais ndio sababu maana sherehe hii tunaiita extravaganza. Honorable Vice President that's why this is this celebration is called Mission Extravaganza. Kwa hivyo uh, mheshimiwa makamu rais and so honorable vice president utafurahia kujua ya kwamba hapa tuna mkusanyiko wa mataifa zaidi ya 20. You will be happy to know that uh, uh, more than 20 nations have been represented Kwa sababu in pia tuna viongozi kutoka ofisi kuu ya kanisa wa Adventista wa Sabato duniani. Because we have uh, leaders from the headquarters of the Adventist Church in the world. Kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu napenda kumkaribisha. And so at this point I would like to invite Dr. Ted Wilson ambaye ni kiongozi wa kanisa la Adventist duniani aweze kuja mheshimiwa makamu wa rais akukaribishe kulingana na taratibu za siku ya leo. I want to invite Dr. Ted Wilson who is our world leader to welcome you to speak to this congregation. Welcome Dr. Ted Wilson. Karibu Dr. Ted Wilson. It is indeed a great privilege and a pleasure to be here this afternoon. Kwa hakika ni fadila kubwa na furaha kuwa hapa jioni hii. It is a great honor to be here with His Excellency the Vice President. Ni heshima kubwa kuwa hapa na mheshimiwa makamu wa rais. On behalf of the World Church of Seventh Day Adventists, Your Excellency. Kwa niaba ya kanisa la Adventists wa Sabato limwenguni mheshimiwa we welcome you and we give you our hearts in the name of God. We give you our hearts in the name of God. It is a great privilege for these people to be citizens of this vast East Central Africa territory. And in particular, several thousand of them citizens of Tanzania. 
We are very grateful for the religious freedom and the freedom of conscience that is provided by the government of Tanzania. Tunafurahia sana uhuru wa dini na uhuru wa dhamira ambao unatolewa na serikali ya Tanzania. In this age of great uncertainty and tension. Katika zama hizi za hali ya misukosuko na mivutano mingi. Where various religious groups and political groups seem to constantly be fighting. Mahala wakati ambapo makuni mengi ya kidini na ya kisiasa yanaonekana kuwa katika vita wakati wote. Tanzania with its peaceful approach stands as a great standard for the world. Tanzania kwa mtazamo wake wa amani umesimama kama kipimo kizuri au kielelezo kizuri kwa ulimwengu. We are honored also to have his honorable Sheikh with us today also. Tumepata heshima sana kwamba tunaye mheshimiwa Sheikh katikati yetu leo. He he and I were exchanging notes or information before the program. And he lived in Cairo, Egypt for about seven years and I did as well. This, uh, this is an opportunity to show the world that we are living in peace. Hii ni fursa ya kuonyesha ulimwengu kwamba tunaishi kwa amani. Salam alaykum alaykum salam. <laughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. What a great opportunity it is to serve the Almighty God. Ni fursa iliyoje kumtumikia Mungu mwenyezi. And your excellency the vice president please pass to the president our great thanks as well Mheshimiwa Makamu wa Rais tunakusihi kwa dhati sana tufikishie salamu zetu kwa Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania 7th 7th day adventists are people of peace and hope Wa adventista wa sabato ni watu wa amani na matumaini We believe in serving others as Jesus Christ did helping them physically, mentally, socially and spiritually. Tunaamini katika kuwahudumia wengine kama Yesu alivyofanya tukiwasaidia kimwili, kiakili, kiroho na kijamii. And we have a great hope in the coming of this wonderful Savior. Na sisi tuna matumaini makubwa katika ujio wa huyu mwokozi wa ajabu. But while we are here on the earth, lakini wakati tukiwa tungali duniani, we pledge ourselves to being the best citizens possible. Tuna tunajipatia ahadi wenyewe kwamba tunataka kuwa raia wema kwa kadri yote inavyowezekana. And those who are citizens of Tanzania, na wale ambao ni raia wa Tanzania, I want you to be the best citizens of this country. Na nataka kuamini kwamba wao ni raia bora kabisa kuliko wote katika nchi hii. And your excellency Mr. Vice President if you find that they are not good citizens please tell me. Na kiwa mheshimiwa makamu wa rais utagundua kwamba yupo ambaye si raia mwema na kusihi unijulishe. And I will pray for them. Na mimi nitawaombea. I want to leave you with a wonderful promise. Ningependa nikuachia ahadi ya pekee ya ajabu. We are anxious to hear from you. Tunashauku ya kukusikiliza. It will be a privilege. Itakuwa ni fadhila kwetu. But I leave you with this beautiful promise in a very small book of the Old Testament of the Bible. Nataka kuachia ahadi ya pekee katika kitabu kidogo kabisa cha agano la kale. It's a little book called Nahum. Ni kitabu kidogo kinachoitwa Nahumu. Chapter 1. Sura ya kwanza verse 7 Fungu la saba. It says here Inasema the Lord is good Mungu bwana ni mwema Our gracious God is good Mungu wetu wa neema ni mwema Always good Wakati wote ni mwema It says he is a stronghold in the day of trouble Anasema yeye ndiye ngome Ngome thabiti wakati wa shida. The heavy responsibilities that you bear. Majukumu mazito ambayo unayabeba 
Your Excellency, the Lord knows that. Mheshimiwa Mungu anajua hilo. God knows you need wisdom. Mungu anajua unahitaji hekima. He knows you need encouragement. Anajua unahitaji kutiwa shime. He knows you need heavenly power. Anajua unahitaji nguvu za kimbingu. And it is promised that he, that he is a stronghold in the day of trouble or difficulty. Na yanasema kwamba yeye ni ngome imara wakati wa shida au ugumu. And the last phrase is a beautiful one. Na sehemu ya mwisho ni nzuri zaidi. He knows them who trust in him. Anawafahamu wale wanaomtumainia. And as as a believer in God, na kama muumini kwa Mungu, we are very grateful that you are the vice president of this country. Tunashukuru sana kwamba wewe ndiye makamu wa rais wa nchi hii. And that you trust in God. Na kwamba unamtumainia Mungu. These beautiful people Watu hawa wazuri coming from 11 countries in the East Central Africa Division. Wakitoka nchi 11 za a division ya Afrika Mashariki na Kati. They trust in God also. Wanamtumaini Mungu pia. And together na kwa pamoja we can be a powerful force for good in society. Tunaweza kuwa nguvu kubwa kwa ajili ya kusukuma mema katika jamii. Under the power of God. Chini ya uwezo wa Mungu. And so honorable Excellency Mr Vice President. Na kwa hiyo mheshimiwa makamu wa rais accept the love and the gratitude from the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Tafadhali kubali upendo na shukrani kutoka kwa kanisa la Adventist. With all of our heart we welcome you. Na kwa mioyo yetu ya dhati tunakukaribisha. Karibu. Welcome. Dr. Ted Wilson, askofu mkuu wa kanisa la Adventist kwa sabato duniani General Conference. Dr. Ted Wilson, the Archbishop of the Adventist Church in the world, the General Conference. Viongozi waandamizi kutoka makao makuu ya kanisa duniani. Senior officers from the headquarters of the Adventist Church in the world. Dr. Blasius Ruguri Askofu mkuu wa kanisa la Adventist wa Sabato kanda ya Afrika Mashariki na Kati. Dr. Blasha Zuguri, the Archbishop of the Adventist Church in the East Central Africa region. Mheshimiwa Max Sadiq mkuu wa mkoa wa Dar es Salaam. Honorable Max Sadiq, the Regional Commissioner of Dar es Salaam. Viongozi waandamizi kutoka makao makuu ya kanisa kanda ya Afrika Mashariki na Kati Senior officers from the headquarters of East Central Africa region head, uh, in, in, in Nairobi Mchungaji Magulilo Mwakalonge askofu mkuu wa kanisa la Adventist wa Sabato ngazi ya taifa kusini A Pastor Magulilo Mwakalonge the archbishop of the Adventist Church in the south southern uh, Tanzania Union Mission Viongozi waandamizi kutoka makao makuu kusini Senior officers from the STU headquarters. Dr. Godwin Lekundayo, askofu mkuu wa kanisa la Adventist wa Sabato, ngazi ya taifa kaskazini. Dr. Godwin Lekundayo, the archbishop of the Adventist Church in the Northern uh, Tanzania Union Conference. Viongozi waandamizi kutoka makao makuu kaskazini. The senior officers from the headquarters of uh, Northern Tanzania Union Conference. Maskofu wakuu na viongozi waandamizi wa kanisa la Adventist wa Sabato. The bishop, archbishops uh, and uh, senior officers of the Adventist Church. Sheikh Mkuu wa Dar es Salaam, Sheikh uh, Dar es Salaam Region Sheikh. Sheikh Mkuu wa Baraza la Waislamu la Tanzania, Sheikh Alhadi Musa Salum. Uh, the, uh, the 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 there is a the Dar es Salaam Muslim Council. The Dar es Salaam Muslim Council Sheikh um, Al Haji Musa Salim. Al Haji Musa Salim. Katibu wa Mufti wa Dar es Salaam wa Tanzania. Uh, the Secretary of uh, oh, Mufti. 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 Mufti of Mufti of Tanzania. Mheshimiwa mabalozi wa nchi mbalimbali mliopo hapa. Honorable ambassadors represented here. Viongozi wa madhehebu na dini mbalimbali. Uh, various religious leaders represented. Ndugu waumini. Honorable uh, uh, believers. 
ndugu wana habari the media mabibi na mabwana ladies and gentlemen bwana asifiwe praise the lord awali ya yote napenda kutoa shukrani zangu za dhati kwa neema yangu binafsi na ujumbe wangu kwa uongozi wa kanisa la Adventist wa Sabato na kamati ya maandalizi kwa kunialika kwa mgeni rasmi katika tukio hili kubwa na la kihistoria la sherehe za utume mission extravaganza kwa... first, first and foremost I would like to register my personal appreciation to the Adventist Church and particularly the steering committee for considering to invite me to officiate this great event uh, his, which is historical of mission extravaganza I want to say thank you very much on behalf of the government of the United Republic of Tanzania and the citizens of Tanzania Napenda kutoa shukrani zangu za dhati kwako baba askofu Dr. Ted Wilson. I would like to sincerely thank you Dr. Ted Wilson. Na uongozi mzima wa kanisa la Adventist wa Sabato. And the entire leadership of the Adventist Church. Kwa kuichagua Tanzania kwa mwenyeji wa tukio hili la kihistoria. For considering Tanzania to host this historical event. Napenda niseme kidogo. Allow me to say more. Nimekusikia ukisema umetumia miaka saba Cairo kwa hivyo una umoja kidogo na uhusiano mzuri pamoja yako na Sheikh Mkuu wa Dar es Salaam Sheikh Al Hadi Musa Salu ambaye ametumia miaka saba vile vile kule Cairo I heard you say that you spent seven years in Egypt and so there is something that you share with the, uh, the Dar es Salaam region Sheikh Sheikh Musa Al Hadi Musa lakini napenda kukwambia vile vile mimi na wewe tuna uhusiano wa karibu vile vile. Uh, but I also want to inform you that there is something that we have in common between you and me. Kanisa lina makao makuu yake Washington DC. And the church has the headquarters in Washington DC. Na mimi nimetumia miaka mine ya kujifunza kusoma pale pale Washington DC. I also spent four years studying in Washington DC. Napenda nikwambie vile vile wakati niko hapo nilikuwa nakutana na seven day Adventist wengi sana. I want to inform you that when I was there I was meeting quite a number of seven day Adventists. Kwa hivyo uko hapa kwa ndugu zako kabisa. So where you are you are really at home. Tumefarijika na kukukaribisha mikono miwili. We are we have been comforted and we welcome you with two hands with both hands. Kusanyiko hili la watu wanaompenda na kumheshimu Mwenyezi Mungu. This gathering of people who love and fear God. Quran inasema Mwenyezi Mungu kwa pamoja na watu wanaomwabudu na wanaofanya mema. The Quran says that God is together with those who worship him and do good. Karibuni sana Tanzania. Welcome to Tanzania. Bwana wabariki sana. May God bless you so much. Na afungue nia zenu. May he open your your hearts. Katika kupokea kile kilichokuwakusanya hapa. That you may be able to receive everything good that has brought you here together. Wapendwa watu wa Mungu. Uh, beloved God's people. Mabibi na mabwana. Ladies and gentlemen. Nitumie nafasi hii. May I use this opportunity? Kulipongeza kanisa la Adventist wa Sabato. To congratulate the Adventist Church kwa mchango wake for its contribution mkubwa katika maendeleo ya nchi yetu. In the development of our country. Mbali na jukumu Mbali na jukumu lake la msingi la kuwajenga waumini wake kiroho. Apart from its great responsibility of nurturing spirit spiritual nature of the members of the church kanisa hili limekuwa mdau mkubwa wa serikali katika kuwaletea wananchi maendeleo this church has been a, a, one of the great partners of the government in the development na tumeona hapa katika maandamano yaliyofanyika and we have seen it here when the parade was passing here umetoresha kwa undani na kwa uthibitisho mkubwa namna unavyochangia katika maswali you have bari. demonstrated how you are contributing to the development of the nation wa sabato kupitia shirika lake linaloitwa Adventist Development and Relief Agency ADRA At the Adventist through Adventist Relief Agency ADRA limetekeleza miradi mingi ya kutoa huduma mbalimbali kwa jamii ikiwemo kuanzisha na kuendesha shule za albino huko Arusha 
they have they have uh, op they have conducted a number of uh, community service projects uh, including that of albino in arusha miradi ya kusomesha watoto yatima the the projects of assisting Education as giving education assistance to the orphans Na watoto and magumu. those who are facing difficult lives mikoa ya Arusha, in the regions of Arusha, Kilimanjaro, na Tanga. Ki Kilimanjaro and Tanga. Mradi wa maji huko Babati. The project of water in Babati. Na mradi wa wa kufunzi kwa huduma ya ushauri na saha. And the TOT project ambao tumeona hapa wakipita mbele yetu mjana huu and we saw them pass before us this evening na mafundisho mbalimbali yanahusu kuepukana na maambukizi ya virusi along kiwi. with the, uh, quite a number of seminars regarding how to avoid hiv aids pia nimefarijika sana i've also been so much comforted kusikia kwamba to hear that kanisa la adventist wa sabato kanda ya afrika mashariki na kati the adventist church with the headquarters in, uh, 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 in nairobi in nairobi the ecd ambao ndio wanaofanya mkutano huu who are really hosting this meeting inaendesha shughuli zake kwenye nchi 11 za afrika mashariki na kati it's operating in 11 countries of eastern central africa nchi hizi zimetajwa na walozungumza kabla yangu these countries have have been mentioned by those who spoke before me shughuli hizo ni pamoja na kuendesha taasisi za elimu the, act, the, the activities that were mentioned include education uh, education running education institutions kuanzia shule za awali hadi vyuo vikuu right from nursery to the university level kama vile chuo kikuu cha arusha like we saw the university of arusha hospitali and hospitals nyumba za watoto yatima uh, the houses or the orphanage na huduma za kijamii zinazofanana na hizo and the community, community services that are related to those ones haya ni baadhi ya mambo machache kati ya mengi yanofanywa na kanisa hili these are some of the things uh, out of many activities that the church is doing nisingeweza kuyakumbuka yale yote yaliyokuwa yamejitokeza hapa wakati wa maandamano i would not be able to remember everything that i could see as the parade was passing before us na upongeza kwa moyo huo i want to congratulate for such a spirit ongezeni bidii zaidi na zaidi i will pray that you will continue uh, being steadfast in doing that na mwenyezi mungu atabariki kazi na mikono za mikono and god will bless the work of your hands Napenda niwahakikishie kwamba I want to assure you that serikali inaridhishwa na mchango mkubwa unaotolewa na taasisi na madhehebu mbalimbali ya dini katika kuleta maendeleo katika nchi yetu. The government recognizes the contribution that is given by religious organization to the development of our country. Tutaendelea kutoa ushirikiano wa karibu. We'll continue to work closely katika kutekeleza azma hiyo to, to ensure that this determination njema ya kuwaletea mwananchi wetu maendeleo. Uh, this good determination of a uh, uh, bringing development to our people is achieved milango ya serikali yenu ipo wazi wakati wa wote the doors of your government is uh, are always open karibuni tushirikiane tusaidiane please welcome so that we may work together tujadiliane so that we may consult na hata katika kutiana moyo katika mambo yenye tija and kwa nchi yetu na wananchi wake and encourage one another in matters that are related to the development of our people baba scope ted wilson uh, the archbishop ted wilson wageni walikwa invited guests mabibi na mabwana ladies and gentlemen napenda nizungumzie kuridhishwa kwangu na kasi ya kukua kwa kanisa hili duniani i want to uh, register my appreciation uh, at the speed of the growth of this church in the world Nimepewa taarifa kuwa kanisa la Adventist wa Sabato lenye makao yake makuu huko Marekani lina waumini wasiopungua milioni 30 duniani. I have been informed that the Adventist Church with the headquarters in uh, uh, in the US has uh, about uh, 30 million believers. Na waumini waliobatizwa hadi sasa wanafikia milioni 18. And those who are active church members are more than 18 million. Na hapa nchini nimefahamishwa kuwa kanisa hili tangu lipoanzishwa mwaka 1993 kule pare katika kitogoji kinachoitwa Giti limeendelea linaendelea kukua kwa kasi na kupanua shughuli zake katika mikoa yote nchini I have also been informed that even in our country from the time that the church entered in this country in 1903 through Giti area it has continued to grow very fast and spread to the whole country of Tanzania Hii ni kutokana na imani yake 
kuwa binadamu aliendelea na aliyekamilika ni yule aliyeendelezwa kiakili kimwili na kiroho this is because the church has a holistic approach on the human development hivyo tangu kuanzishwa kwake hadi sasa kanisa hili limeendelea kushughulikia nyanja zote hizi tatu kwa wote wanaozitahidi wanazozihitaji bila kubagua kabila rangi nafasi katika jamii au dini and so from the very beginning this church has continued to consider the holistic approach in the development of human irrespective of their color race or any discrimination nasema hongereni sana i want to congratulate you so much wapendwa waumini beloved believers mabibi na mabwana ladies and gentlemen mafanikio yote tunayoyaona all the success that we can see niliyozungumzia hapo juu that i've mentioned above hawezi kupatikana kama nchi yetu haitakuwa na amani could have not been achieved if our country was not peaceful na napenda niungane na baba skofu ted wilson katika mazungumzo yake aliyosema and i want to to to, to agree with uh, dr ted, uh, ted wilson in in what he said na mimi nimekuwa nikikumbusha jambo hili kila mara ninapopata fursa ya kuzungumza na viongozi wa dini na waumini wao I have always reiterated the same thing every time I meet religious leaders together with the believers Nafanya hivyo kwa kuamini kwamba mnayo nafasi kubwa ya kuombea nchi yetu kila siku bila kuchoka ili amani tuliyonayo umoja upendo na mshikamano watu, wetu viendelee katika taifa letu hili la Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania I do so believing that you have opportunity to pray tirelessly for the peace of our country so that it may prevail in in whatever situation amani ni sharti la kwanza katika maendeleo ya binadamu a peace of peace is a, it's a agenda number one in the development of uh, human human Bi being bila amani hakuna kinachoweza kufanyika without peace we cannot do anything iwe katika nchi hata ndani ya familia zetu whether it is for the country or for the family amani na utulivu wa nchi yetu ni baraka kubwa kutoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu peace and tranquility in our country is a blessing from our heavenly father tumeona wenzetu majirani zetu wanavyoishi katika mateso na misukosuko mikubwa kwa kukosa amani we have seen the challenges that our neighbors are going through because they do not have peace inafikia wakati wanakimbia hata nchi zao at times they are forced to become refugees akina mama na watoto wanapata mateso makubwa the children and uh, women are suffering serious suffering wanaume wanakimbia familia zao men and men are running away from their families watoto wanakosa elimu and the children uh, lack education hakuna hata nafasi ya kukusanyika na kumwabudu Mungu they don't even have an opportunity to come together for worship kupoteza amani katika nchi ni kukaribisha laana katika nchi losing a peace in the country is inviting a curse in the country na wasihi watu wa Mungu pigeni magoti kila siku kumuomba Mungu zaidi kubariki taifa letu hili I want to plead with, the, with you people of God to continue kneeling and pray to God that our peace may continue to prevail Ombeni pia kwa ajili ya mataifa mengine ya Afrika yenye migogoro I Pray also for the nation, neighboring countries that have conflict or crisis Ili uso wa Mungu uinuke na kusambaratisha laana hiyo So that the Lord may intervene and restore peace in their countries Baba Skofu uh, the, uh, the archbishop Mabibi na mabwana. Ladies and gentlemen. Mwaka huu ni mwaka uchaguzi mkuu hapa nchini kwetu. This is an election year in Tanzania. Let, let, taifa letu litakuwa na jukumu zito la kuchagua viongozi katika ngazi mbalimbali. Our church has such a huge responsibility of choosing leaders of our country. Watakaoongoza kwa kipindi cha miaka mitano ijayo. We will be leading this nation for the coming five years. Bali na hilo. Apart from that, Tunakabiliwa na shughuli ya kura ya maoni kwa ajili ya katiba pendekezi iliyopitishwa na bunge letu mwaka jana. We will also be voting for the constitution that has been recommended. Nitumie nafasi hii kuwaomba watanzania wote kujitokeza kwa wingi kushiriki katika shughuli hizo muhimu kwa maendeleo ya nchi yetu. May I also take this opportunity to, to appeal to all Tanzanians to, 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 to decide in a great number to participate in these two events. Katika hili natoa rai kwa viongozi na waumini wa dini zote nchini. I want to appeal also to the leaders and the believers kuombea taifa letu ili shughuli hizi zimalizike kwa amani na utulivu. To pray for the peace for, for, for our nation so that these two activities can be run peacefully. 
Napenda ni wakikishie. I want to assure you. Kwamba serikali yenu imejipanga vizuri kuhakikisha inasimamia shughuli hizi kwa ufanisi mkubwa. That your government is determined to ensure that this two projects are completed successfully. Ndugu viongozi wa dini. Uh, uh, dear leaders, uh, religious leaders. Wapendwa waumini. Beloved believers. Nitumie nafasi hii pia kuwakumbusha waumini wa madhehebu yote nchini kuendelea kuvumiliana. May I also take this opportunity to appeal to all believers of different denominations in the world to continue bearing with one another. Kuheshimiana, respecting one another, na kushirikiana, and cooperating with one another. Nchi yetu imebarikiwa mbali ya tofauti za kiimani. Our country has been placed apart from the different religious affiliations. Tanzania imeendelea kuwa nchi moja yenye watu wanaopendana na kuheshimiana. Uh, the unity between Tanzanians has continued and the people of Tanzania respect one another and love each other. Na wasihi kuzidi kudumisha neema hii. I pray that this uh, grace will continue. Sisi katika serikali tutaendelea kusimamia kwa nguvu zote uhuru wa kuabudu. Uh, we in the government are determined to ensure that uh, we are uh, we will continue to ensure that uh, Uh, religious liberty is maintained na kama hatutaruhusu mtu au kikundi cha kikundi cha watu kuinuka na kukashifu dini au imani ya watu wengine we will never allow a person or any religious group to rise and abuse other people's faith hili ni kosa na dhambi kubwa this is a great sin baba scope ted wilson viongozi uh, wa dini mabibi na mabwana Uh, the, the archbishop Ted Wilson religious leaders ladies and gentlemen kabla ya kuhitimisha hotuba yangu before i end my speech nawapenda niwakumbushe jambo moja muhimu ambalo kila mmoja wetu anapaswa kulipa uzito hili na ni swala la maadili katika jamii yetu allow me to remind you one important item that each one has to consider seriously and this is issue the issue of morals in our in our country hususan kwa vijana wetu especially to our young people jamii yetu inakabiliwa na changamoto kubwa katika swala la madili hasa kwa vijana wetu our communities face a serious challenge moral challenge especially on youth kuna mambo mengine yanasemwa katika katika hili wengine wanasema ni matokeo ya kukua kwa teknolojia mawasiliano na uhuru wa vyombo vya habari na kadhalika there are many things that are that, 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 are, that are said about this some attributed to the uh, technological growth lakini sisi kama watu wa, mwenye, wa Mungu tusiwe wapesi wepesi kuruhusu sababu za kulalilisha dosari hiyo ya but, kuhalalisha dosari hiyo but we as the people of god we should not so easily uh, justify the, such weaknesses kama kasi ya ukuaji teknolojia ya mawasiliano ina athari madili ya watoto wetu kwa nini na sisi tusiongeze kasi malezi inayozidi ile ya ukuaji teknolojia ya mawasiliano If the speed of ICT growth is affecting the growth of our children, why don't we also increase the speed of uh, nurturing our children? Na wasii viongozi wa dini. I appeal to the religious leaders. Itumeni sana kuwafundisha vijana wetu maadili mema. Work hard to teach our young people morals. Tunapowalea watoto wetu tukumbuke pia kuwajengea tabia ya kuthamini kazi. As we bring up our children let us remember to teach them the importance of work. Tuwajenge watoto wetu katika misingi ya kuthamini na kuheshimu kazi. Let us raise them in the way that they will value work. Na sikuachia kushinda vijiweni na kubonyenyeza simu tu. Let us not just leave them idle to play with the gadgets electronic gadgets. Hapana. We should never allow this. Biblia katika waraka wa pili wa Paulo kwa Wathelosalonika mlango wa tatu mstari wa kumi hadi wa mbili inasema The Bible in the second Corinthians chapter uh, chapter 3 verse 10 it says Ikiwa mtu hataki kufanya kazi basi na asile. If a person does not want to work he should also not eat. Baba Scope Ted Wilson the, the Archbishop Ted Wilson ndugu wa umini dear believers mabibi na mabwana ladies and gentlemen kwa kumalizia hotuba yangu kwa mara nyingine come to the end of my speech kwa mara nyingine nishukuru uongozi wa kanisa la White Adventista wa Sabato kwa kunialika kwa mgeni rasmi katika tukio hili muhimu la kihistoria Once again I want to thank the Adventist Church leadership for inviting me to be the guest of honor during this event na pia ni wapongeze viongozi wa kanisa hili kanda ya Afrika Mashariki 
I want also to congratulate the leaders of this church in the East Central Africa. Kwa kazi nzuri ya kusimamia shughuli za kanisa na nawatakia nyote kazi njema ili bwana wa mapuno atakaporudi akute mahala yenu yamefurika. I pray that uh, I want to congratulate them for the good work that they have done and I pray that uh, God will bless you so that uh, when he comes uh, the Lord of the harvest when he comes he will also find you ready. Sasa ni nizungumzie kidogo kwa muhtasar yale yalotolewa changamoto zilotolewa na mchungaji Mwakalonge. Allow me briefly to address the challenges that were highlighted by Pastor Mwakalonge. Kwanza napenda kumshukuru sana. First of all, I want to thank him so much. Kwa hotuba yake nzuri sana alotoa. For his uh, good speech that he delivered. Kwa maelezo makubwa aloyaeleza katika shughuli mbalimbali zinazofanywa na kanisa. The way he uh, outlined the activities that are done by the church. Lakini vile vile kwa kutufunua macho mambo mengi yanofanywa ambayo tulikuwa hatuyajui. But also for by opening our eyes on some of the things that are done that we are not aware of. Lakini ningependa nimuhakikishie kuwa. Uh, but I want to assure him that serikali ya Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania the government of the United Republic of Tanzania itaendelea kila siku daima kuheshimu na ku shirikiana na vyombo vyote na madhehebu yote ya dini katika nchi. We we'll continue always to cooperate and respect to respect and cooperate with the, all our, our religious institutions. Kama nilivyokuisha kusema milango ya serikali yetu iko wazi. As I said earlier the our doors are open. Na tuko karibu na kila kiongozi wa kila dini kila madhehebu aweze kushirikiana na sisi wakati wote anavohisi pana haja ya kufanya hivyo. And we want every religious leader to come to us so that we may share and cooperate in whatever area he thinks that we need to share. Ninapenda kumhakikishia kwa sala lake la viwanja tutalishirikia. I want to assure him that we will work on your request on plots. Lakini lazima tukumbuke na tukubali kwa jiji letu kama sasa hivi lilivyo limejaa. Uh, but we must also accept that uh, we have a challenge because uh, we do not really have space enough in the city. Lakini tunazungumza na wale wanaohusisha na maswali ya kugawa viwanja kwa nini siwezekani kukusaidieni zaidi kama nafasi zipo. But I will talk to those who are responsible to see the possibility of helping us. Swali la uhuru wa kuabudu siku ya Jumamosi. Regarding the freedom of worship on on Saturday. Hili ni jambo ambalo lazima lichukuliwe na lizungumzwe kitaifa kabisa kwa sababu ni haki ya kila mtu kuabudu. This must be spoken because it's the right of everybody to worship. Na na kumbusha tu kama kuna kitu katika utekelezaji wetu wa mambo yetu ya kiserikali alikubaliki basi diuhakikishie kwa linafikisha katika vyombo vinavyohusika ili lizungumzwe lizingatiwe na tupate ufumbuzi wajibu. We will address this if there is any challenge I want to assure you that uh, we will do our best to ensure that it is being addressed and of course solved Lazima lakini tukumbuke kwa nchi yetu lazima ipate utaratibu wa sheria tulizokuwa nazo However we must always remember that uh, our country is led by the rule of law. Kuhusu kulinda uwekezaji na wakanisa secondary kuvamiwa. Hili nalo litalifanyia kazi. Regarding the invasion of our secondary school in in, in Mbeya, we will also work on this. Kwa sababu kwetu sisi serikalini kila mwekezaji ana haki ya kulindwa. Kwa sababu hiyo ni dhima tulochukua ndio maana tumewakaribisha na tumewapa fursa ya kuwekeza katika nchi. We do believe that every investor has the right to be protected and that's why we allowed them to invest. So we will work on that. Kwa hivyo napenda nikuhakishie baba askofu kwa haya yote tuliyosema na changamoto ulizonipa tutayashukua na tutafanya kazi. I want to assure you uh, the bishop that uh, all this that you have presented to me we will take it and work on it baada ya kusema hayo having said that kwa heshima na unyenyekevu mkubwa very very relevantly natamka kwamba i and i i want to declare sherehe utume zimefunguliwa rasmi bwana wabariki sana the mission extravaganza officially opened may god bless you asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza thank you for listening to me After that wonderful speech, Bada ya hotuba hiyo ya mgeni rasmi, 
We invite a special choir from Burundi to offer a special um, item of music. Tunaikaribisha choir kutoka Burundi kwa ile wimbo wa pekee. Then after that we will have uh, 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 Pastor Dr. Ted Wilson, the president of the Edith Adventist Church. Na kisha baada hapo tutakuwa na mchungaji na uh, askofu mkuu wa kanisa ulimwenguni to offer a prayer. Uh, ili aweze kutoa ombi mawe. Then there will be a photo session after that before our leader leaves. Ndipo sasa patafuatiwa na picha ya pamoja. Sawana wa Mungu wetu Kwa Kristo tuma safari ni ya kuelekea kana ni njema mji wa Mungu wetu Lakini shetani ye anaendelea kuwapoteza wana wa Mungu wetu tujiandae Safari hiyo Mungu sana wa Kristo tuwe wavumilivu tutashinda mema ya dunia tuyakimbie tueleke kana ni njema fame Yesu atatuwezesha Safari hiyo ni ngumu sana wa Kristo tuwe wavumilivu tutashinda mema ya dunia tuyakimbie tuelekee kana ni njema Sorry. 
Bwana wa Kristo tuwe wavumilivu tutashinda Honorable the guests of honor, the Vice President of uh, United Republic of Tanzania, Dr. Muhammad Garib Bilal, Dr. Muhammad Garib Bilali, Mchungaji Dr. Ted Neil Wilson, Askofunkuwa Kanisa la Wasabato Ulimwenguni, Pastor Dr. Ted Wilson, the Archbishop of the Adventist Church in the world, Mchungaji na Dr. Blasia Suruguri, Askofunkuwa Kandaku ya Afrika ya Mashariki na Yakati, Pastor and Dr. Blasia Suruguri, the Archbishop of East Central Africa region, Mweshmi wa Mkuu wa Mkoa, uh, Honorable the Regional Commissioner, Viongozi wa dini na serikali, Religious leader and government leaders, Mabibi na mabwana, Ladies and gentlemen, Itifaki mezingatio. The protocol has been observed. Mweshmi wa mgeni rasmi kwa niaba ya uongozi wa kanisa la Adventist wa Sabato. Honorable uh, guest of honor, on behalf of the leadership of the Adventist Church, Napenda kukushkuru kwa kubali kuja kutufungulia sherehe hizi zetu za utume. I want to thank you for accepting to come and inaugurate this uh, mission extravaganza. Tunatambua jinsi ambavyo unashughuli nyingi. We do realize that you have a tight schedule. Na hivyo kitendo cha wewe kupata muda wa kuja kutufungulia sherehe hizi. And the fact that you got time in such a schedule to come and offer, open our this to do the inauguration. Tunahesabu kuwa ni upendo mwingi na heshima kubwa. We count it as a demonstration of great and love and respect. Nipende tu kushukuru kwa niaba ya kanisa. I want to thank you on behalf of the church. Kwa ahadi ya serikali ya kuhakikisha kuwa kila mwananchi anapewa haki yake ya kimsingi ya kuabudu. Uh, for the uh, promise of the government that uh, you will do whatever it takes to grant to every citizen the, the right to worship. Na hivyo serikali yetu tukufu itaendelea kuhakikisha kwamba itawatetea wale wanaonyimwa nafasi ya kuabudu. We are happy that the government will protect those who are denied this right. Tunashukuru pia kwa ushauri wako uliotoa kwamba tutumie teknolojia kwa ajili ya kuendeleza watoto. I want to thank you for your counsels on the use of technology in nurturing our children. Ili badala ya teknolojia kutumika kama njia ya kuwapotosha watoto kimaadili itumike kwa ajili ya kuendeleza. So that instead uh, uh, of the technology being harmful it may also be used constructively lakini tunashukuru pia kwa jinsi ulivyo wakumbusha wazazi na walezi na kanisa kwa ujumla juu ya umuhimu wa malezi bora kwa watoto we want to thank you for reminding parents uh, and all citizens on the essentiality of uh, nurturing our children tunashukuru sana kwa jinsi ambavyo umetoa ahadi kwa niaba ya serikali kwamba Serikali itaendelea kuheshimu shughuli za kimaendeleo zinazofanywa na vikundi vya dini. Uh, we want to thank you for the promise that you have made that the government will continue to protect church investments. Na hivyo serikali itafuatilia juu ya mwingilio wa kuingiliwa kwa shule ya kanisa ya Ndembela Kulembea. We do promise that we will consult with your office as a follow up on the challenge that we have at Ndembela Secondary School. Kwa ujumla wake ni sema ya kuwa kanisa nalo litaendelea 
kujihusisha na shughuli za kimaendeleo kwa ajili ya jamii uh, the church promises that will continue to offer community services kama ilivyosemwa vizuri katika risala yetu as it was correctly said in our
Chenangaya ko hitasima Mawimbi ya kikuzunguka Sweet. 